Hey, it's Jad T. Jones. Today we're gonna to talk about why you shouldn't emotionally invest in a woman too soon. This channel helps you get a beautiful girlfriend through methods of complete integrity without doing anything creepy, weird, or dishonest. So the common problem I see <clears throat> is men get too emotionally involved in a woman before the woman is even his. There are a lot of negative repercussions to this. So let's talk about this. You like a girl, you're talking to her, maybe you've asked her out, maybe you haven't asked her out yet. You need to, I know that as men, when we see a woman that we really like, we almost automatically fall in love, okay? So I, I feel you, bro, okay? You see that beautiful angel and you're just like, oh, I would marry her, oh, I love her, right? Like, I know we guys get that feeling. We get like instantly charmed, but what you need to do is you need to kind of catch yourself and be like, whoa, okay, okay, this, I really like this girl, but let me not get too carried away uh, in this because you don't want to have one nightis. You don't want to go only after her and, and just put all your eggs in one basket and get emotionally invested in her before anything has ever even really happened, okay? Because, uh, you know, I've said many years ago that in order to get one woman, go after 10. Okay, and I got that idea actually from another dating coach. His name is Hypnotica. So to go after, if you want one beautiful woman, go after 10 because out of the 10 you go after, only like one, two or three will work out and the other ones are gonna drop off for various reasons. It's not that you made a mistake necessarily, but you know, it's, it's kind of like a numbers game as well. So imagine if, if the recommendation is if you want one beautiful woman, go after 10, well, the guy who's going after one woman and investing all that emotion into that one woman and then she doesn't work out, do you see how the math doesn't really add up there? You're kind of setting yourself up for failure a lot of times. Now, another reason you don't wanna invest emotionally before you actually have the girl as your girl is because you're gonna get nervous around her if you have these, you know, if you let yourself fall for her before she's even your girl, that's gonna make you come across, you know, not necessarily, but you risk becoming needy, weak, desperate, you know, too invested. So then when you're around her, maybe you're too extra cautious with how you act and you're just, you know, you're too invested, okay? We're talking about investment here. And then on the other hand, she's not really invested in you. So she's kind of cool, kind of casual, you know, no big deal, relaxed, laid back. You see the difference? Whereas you, you need to be the one who's like, as the man, you need to be the one who's kind of casual, unattached, laid back. So I'm not telling you that um, when I really like a girl, I don't, you know, have those strong feelings. And I am, you know, that term I'm falling for someone or you've fallen for someone. I do fall. Okay. Like in the past, I did fall for a girl, but then I'm like, oh, okay, hold up, hold up. Let me not allow my emotions to get the best of me and let me kind of like, hmm, you know, kind of like do that inside and be like, okay, okay, let's stay cool. Let's stay cool. I really like her, but you know, let me keep my cool within myself so that when I'm around her, I'm able to operate. I'm able to be cool, unattached, look like I don't care too much and all that stuff because that's really what's going to help you get the woman. You need to understand. I know you're watching these videos because you want to get the most beautiful quality women. Well, those women are in high demand and those women are looking for a guy who isn't drooling over them and who, who, who has composure, who, you know, girls want the guy who doesn't care, right? I say in my other videos, a woman wants to feel like she won you over. Okay, not that you were so easy, like, oh, this guy's available, he's drooling all over me, he's in love with me already, if I want him, I can take him. You, you Women don't want what they can have. If you were multitasking, stop and listen to this. Women don't want what they can have. One more time, women do not want what they can have. If you get so emotionally in invested in a woman that's not your girl yet, and then that comes across in your energy and she feels like, oh, that guy, that guy's, that guy's totally like head over heels for me. She doesn't want what she knows she can have easily. 
she wants the guy who's who, who seems like yeah you know what I can have you or not you know I like you but I like five other girls too you know you're one out of the roster that's the guy that, that gets the girls okay a girl doesn't want a guy who's only invested in her she wants you know if you're looking out and you're like how did that guy get that girl a lot of times it's because that guy followed the advice of like, man, look, I'm going to go after five girls, 10 girls at the same time. And, you know, OK, I really I have one favorite. But just because I have that one favorite, Jennifer, it doesn't mean I'm not going to keep working uh, Jessica, Mary and Sandy. OK, now if Jennifer works out, that's great. I'm going to be happy and, you know, I'm going to cut my ties with the other girls. But if she doesn't work out, well, you know, I'm still going to be in the game and going after these other girls. Okay, that's how you need to play this game. So control your emotions. Don't get too invested until a woman is your girlfriend. Don't get emotionally invested. What are you getting emotionally invested for, man? It's not going to work. If you haven't done so already, download my free one page cheat sheet that shows you how to tell if a woman is sexually interested in you before you make a move on her. You can find the link in the description box. Drop me a like, a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next. Peace.